If you want to buy cheap, reliable NBA 2K19 MT, please go to DVDJ.com, use the code CRUSH, and if you're not familiar with the process, you can contact them on Twitter. Both links will be in the description. What is good, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be rebuilding the Los Angeles Lakers with Klay Thompson at the helm. So basically, uh, we all know the Lakers, one thing they did lack this year was uh, consistent shooting. Uh, when Magic Johnson originally constructed this roster Le around LeBron James last offseason, we all kind of questioned the fit for all the players that they signed. So hopefully I can do a better job of that this year, and uh, we could do some things here and there, make this team really good. Remember, this is a, not a realistic rebuild today. So uh, Klay Thompson on the Lakers, uh, definitely a perfect fit next to LeBron, catch and shoot kind of guy. Now, I'm not saying that uh, Klay is going to leave the Warriors, but if he were to leave the Warriors... I think the Lakers would be uh, a team that he might be interested in. And it's been, you know, kind of a rumor here and there, but I doubt it's actually going to happen. We think, uh, I, honestly, I think Clay's going to stay, but maybe not. So for the draft lottery, we're obviously going to, the Lakers are actually going to have a lottery pick, and I don't think anyone would have expected that. And we're going to land with the ninth pick, which I'm okay with. We can use the ninth pick to our advantage. Luke Walton, everybody expects him to be fired. And then I'm going to hire Tyron Lou. No, I'm just kidding. Definitely not. But I'm going to hire someone. And uh, I'm going to hire someone different. I've never hired Luke Wallace, whoever that is. And then we got a good trainer. We got get a good assistant GM now. And then get this guy. And I think be good with the staff we got. This and coach is lacking a little bit. And then we'll, we'll worry about that next year. But for the NBA draft, like I said, we have the ninth pick overall, which, you know, when you are the Lakers and you have LeBron James on the roster, you're a win now mode. That's just the way it is. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and trade the ninth pick most likely here. And I don't think it's that big of a deal that we're going to. And uh, I'm going to try to afford a cheap center. Someone that's going to come in right away and just help out. Like Steven Adams would be perfect here. But he is a little expensive, and I want to have plenty of money to do something this offseason, so I might pass on that. Rocco, another perfect fit at that small forward spot. We got uh, two first-round picks, and then um, I really like the idea of Robert Covington on this team, to be honest with you. Uh, but, I, I mean, trading a first-rounder for him might be uh, a little too crazy. So, uh, let's try and get, you know, Robert Covington I think would be perfect here. Let's try to get him, but... Not with the first round pick. Let's try to uh, do two seconds or something stupid like that. Maybe a later first round pick. And they agree. So just like that, we got Robert Covington, who's going to fit in seamlessly next to LeBron James. Um, we got, they'll have the ninth pick too. So, uh, you know, what? let's go ahead and, you know, draft somebody. If we could get a win now player that's going to basically help right away, I don't see why that would hurt at all. So we got Bull Bull here, which, you know what? We do need a center. Carl's. Uh, Nasir, Liddy, or Nasir Little, uh, we could get Keldon Johnson as well, but Ken Alexander Walker, uh, I really like the idea of Bull Bull, very lengthy, but uh, he did go down with an injury this year, I think, so um, Keldon Johnson is looking pretty decent too, sharpshooter, I think he fits next to LeBron as well, so we'll, we'll try to solve the center position in the offseason, so we'll roll with that, and then we got Keldon Johnson, like I said, Player options, we're going to go ahead and accept all these guys and keep them all here. But I promise you, one or two of them might be traded. Kuzma will not be traded. I love Kuzma. But uh, Brandon Ingram probably is going to be up for trade. So um, we're going to have to renounce all this money to make sure we do have enough money to do something. So Luol Dang, still paying for him. Caruso, let's uh, just renounce everybody, I think. Uh, that way we have all the money in the world to do something. And like I said, we're going to have to probably up a little bit more money since Brandon Ingram is a uh, free agent after this year probably gonna trade him here in this offseason I don't know that might trigger some people I have no idea but I'm going to do it so um let's trade BI since we got Covington now which Brandon Ingram I'm not gonna lie he was really good to going towards the end of the season until he went down with the injury so not disrespecting Brandon Ingram by any means I just don't want to pay him next year so uh Buddy Heald actually like fits so nice here at the shooting guard spot, I actually might do that trade, guys. I might actually have to do that trade. Clint Capella, although I am trying to forward... Oh, wait. I don't know why I would get Buddy Hilde if uh, this title of the video is a Clay Thompson rebuild. So, probably won't do that, actually. Conley, 
We could just get first round picks from the Hawks. Um, might actually do this trade, just get some first rounders. That's two first round picks going into next year, which is going to be, you know what, I'm gonna do it. So two first round picks, I'm gonna do that because that's going to uh, definitely maybe get us two lottery picks going into next year's draft. So um, we could use those for trade bait. So Brandon Ingram, just traded him for two first round picks. Not even sad about it. So, and then 28.89 million in cap space. I'm hoping that's enough to afford Mr. Clay Thompson. Uh, where is Mr. Clay Thompson? Um, still need a little bit more money. So let's go ahead and uh, free up someone else. Let's trade Isaac Bonga. Just a little bit more money. And we get a second round pick from the Clippers. Let's do it. And then, like I said, let's get Mr. Clay Thompson. Where is he? Uh, there he is. Okay, so Mr. Clay Thompson, let's give him his bag. That way we secure him on the roster and we should be good there. So hopefully he signs and we get Clay Thompson. So that's what I wanted. Um, let's just go ahead and make sure he is fully on the roster. So we did it there. So Clay Thompson is going to be the shooting guard. We got Lonzo Ball still. We got Keldon Johnson, Josh Hart, Ron James, Robert Covington, Kyle Kuzma, and Maurice Wagner. So uh, the center position, very bad. Got zero dollars, exactly zero dollars. So, um, I don't know, man. What do we do here? So, for the center spot, we could just go after Javel McGee again, which I don't know if uh, Brooke Lopez actually would fit really nice here. I think he did a lot of good things for the Bucks, but I think the Bucks would definitely want to bring back Brooke Lopez. I'm gonna sign him on a one year deal, and uh, I'm gonna call that good, I think. So, let's sign Brooke Lopez to a one year deal, and we should be good. Okay, never mind. We aren't good. So he goes somewhere else. Um, we get Bobby Portis. Although he's not really a natural center in my opinion. I guess we could sign him for two years. <laughs> good there. So um, not too shabby, I guess. Not too bad. It's not perfect by any means. But no, um, it is a roster. So Lonzo, like I said, Lonzo, Clay. Uh, do we have a nightmare rotation? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. No, we don't. Okay, so um, what are we missing? We got. We could move. Well, no, we already got. We need a backup power forward and a better backup center, I think. Or a better backup point guard. So could just resign Rondo, I guess. But I don't know, man. He just didn't fit very well, I feel like. Because it's something like George Hill, Trey Burke, uh, Brad Wanamaker. 30 years old and never even heard of the dude. Uh, I don't know, guys. Where do I go here? So power forward, let's go to. Rebco, maybe, who's a good shooter, and then a backup center. Let's just get like Sean Holmes or Carlos Noel or something weird like that. Boban. Come on, man. I better have some. Ah, we didn't get Boban. So, and we, you know, pass up strike out there as well. So, uh, Michael Beasley, Markeith Morris, I guess. You don't want to do that. So, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and sign some cheap backups. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say to the end of next year. And uh, we'll see what happens. Since this is an unrealistic rebuild, uh, I'm going to pick up Mr. John Collins here at the trade deadline. We do need a better center. John Collins, I know he plays the power forward. He is 6'10", a little short. But, uh, you know, not too short. So, I'm going to go with John Collins here. He's going to play our center position, Bobby Portis. I, I don't know, man. I just don't picture Bobby Portis as an actual center. So, we're going to get Alex Lynn in the trade as well. We did trade, uh, what's his face, um, but that's all right. So uh, I'm going to move John Collins to the center. Like I said, he's going to go down to an 85 overall, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and fix these rotations. And uh, we have Mr. Uh, Lonzo Ball, Clay Thompson, LeBron James, Kuzma, and John Collins now. Bobby Portis off the bench. We got Rocco off the bench. Alex Len off the bench. Too many centers off the bench. So that does kind of suck. So let's go ahead and make some more trades here. Um Bobby Portis actually could just move to the power forward. We're going to do that because that's his natural position in real life. We're going to move him to the power forward. That should fix that problem. And we need to fix Alex Lynn or Willie Reed, which I'm going to go ahead and try to trade Willie Reed. Uh, or I could just move my rotation for Mike Scott, but I'll try to trade Willie Reed for something better. I don't know if I'm going to get anything better, but let's try. So um, we need a shooting guard or guard, right? So let's go for like, I guess um a day uh, nick stauskas he you know he did go off in the lakers that game one uh you know uh, season opener but i don't know man uh, i guess we'll get javon carter here i mean i don't know what else to really do so um i'll take javon carter and then at the knife spot 
we'll give all these minutes. Uh, I guess I could just give him Tim Frazier. So whatever. I don't know. So Tim Frazier, you know, he did have a really nice game the other night playing for Milwaukee. So I'm going to leave it at that. We are currently out of the playoffs, are, I think, right now. But that's okay. 25 and 31. I think we can make it back in there. So let's go ahead. See if we can. I'm going to go ahead and simulate. See what happens. Glad we actually snuck into the playoffs because we are a very dangerous team nonetheless. So, yes, we were, you know, kind of bad at first. But fix it up here. John Collins came here, and I think he just fit in really nicely. So 11 points and 9 rebounds for John Collins. About, nah, not a block game, but, you know, that's probably not what he's known for. Bobby Portis did his thing. As well, Kuzma 16, nice little third option next to LeBron and Clay. Clay Thompson 20 points per game. Rocco, everyone kind of did their thing. Alonzo Ball even had nine and nine, so not too bad. Um, Alonzo Ball, I think I might end up keeping him. I didn't know if I was going to keep him or not, but we'll go ahead and see. But we are facing Utah in the first round, which I do think we could upset here because we do have the greatest player in the world on our roster with a good team around him. But uh, 2K may not think so. Uh, they're up 3-1 to start, and we might get eliminated here 3-2. 3-3. Three, three. Are we going to upset in 7? No, we end up losing in 7. That's okay, though, because I think once this roster has a full season together, I think we're going to be good, guys. I think we'll be good. Plus, we have some assets going into the season. So, uh, Cleveland did not make the playoffs, and the Hawks didn't make it either, did they? So, we're going to have two lottery picks, and I don't know if we have our first round pick. I'm not sure if we did or not. I don't remember. We're going to have two lottery picks. Yeah, that's going to be good. So, two lottery picks. That's going to be already really good. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the standings once this is over. The Rockets do win the championship. So, cool stuff there. But let's go ahead and look at the standings. Hopefully, um, the Hawks and the Cavs are at the bottom. So, we've got the Hawks here and the Cavs at the very bottom, 30 and 52. Very good stuff there. So, like I said, we should have two lottery picks. So that Brandon Ingram trade ain't looking so bad now, is it? I know some people might have thought I was um, crazy for doing that. But I think it looks pretty good now. So, Look at that. Lakers via Cleveland and Lakers via Dallas. Oh, wait. It was the Dallas, Dallas pick. Sorry. But we're going to have the fourth pick nonetheless. The 14th pick. And we do we have our own pick somewhere around here? And the 19th pick. That's three first-round picks going into this offseason. So good stuff there. Uh, head scout. Let's get a better head scout. Sign him up. And we should be good. So, and then for the NBA draft, we have three first-round picks. So we got to do something with this, right? I mean, we got to do something. Keldon Johnson uh, looking pretty good. 6'6". Six, six. Uh, wow, okay. So he is in... Wow, okay. So uh, he's going to be nice off the bench this next year. So we got Clay Thompson, Keldon Johnson, LeBron James, Robert Covington, and Bobby Portis. So that's who's all under roster or all under contract. Um, if I were to guess, uh, what do... what what? I mean, a point guard is something we could, you know, go for if we really wanted to move on from Lonzo. But, you know, he did do his thing. Not terrible. So, uh, I don't know if I want to draft here, though. That's the thing. So, uh, Robert Covington, do we potentially trade him in, like, two first-round picks to get something? I don't know. Uh, we did solve our center position. So, like I said, we have a lot of talent to do whatever we want with. Um, we could upgrade a position as well. Uh, like, like I said, uh, the power forward position was Kuzma. So, you know, really don't need to upgrade that spot. The point guard position is one thing. Um, I could see myself upgrading to get Kyrie. That's probably out of the realm of impossibility, but we could go for like, um, uh, Kimba, which I don't know if we could afford him. Donovan Mitchell run him at the point guard spot. Darren Fox run him at the point guard. Well, I mean, he does play point guard. So I don't know. Why I said run him at the point guard. Luca, we get Spencer Dinwiddie or D'Lo bring D'Lo back to the Lakers. I don't know if we can make it work, but if I can, let's try it. So, uh, let's see. Pick, first round pick, the Lakers would acquire 26.98 million and allowed. So let's go ahead and throw in Rocco and Bobby Portis, I guess. Fourth pick, Rocco and Bobby Portis. We are running our depth here a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to try to upgrade this team and we get D'Angelo Russell. Fourth pick overall. And we're going to have some first round picks to, you know, kind of replace uh, some things there. So we have the 14th pick. Let's try to get somebody here that's just going to come in and help. Um, Matt McClung, uh, Isaiah Mobley, uh, 6'10", power forward, Isaiah Stewart. I know Isaiah Stewart's actually pretty decent, so I'll go ahead and take him. And then with the 19th pick, I might actually just trade this pick here and then try to get somebody. So we traded our backup small forward and backup power forward. So we did just get Isaiah Stewart. 
We go for Aminu. Um, Jalen Brunson, Goga. I don't know how to say his name. Reggie Bullock. So, I mean, there are some players I could pick up. So, we go get Aminu, Reggie Bullock, Roden, Jalen Brunson. I also like the idea of Jalen Brunson. So, I'm going to get Jalen Brunson off the bench. We'll go ahead and get him as well. So, looking pretty good. Definitely making a lot of moves here in this video. So, um, rookie signing, Isaiah Stewart. Couple player options, Kuzma, Ingram, Alonzo, of course. Bring them all back. Qualifying offers. Not worried about any of you guys. So, now we look at the roster. Uh, salary cap table, negative 26.89 million in cap space. I'm fi I fixed uh, Mr. Uh, Magic Johnson's mistake by trading D'Lo. Hope you guys can appreciate that. So we got DeAndre Russell, Lonzo Ball, Jalen Brunson, Clay Thompson, Keldon Johnson, Brown James Kuzma, Isaiah Stewart, and John Collins. So looking pretty darn good. Oh my gosh, this is looking really good. So uh, do we go, we could trade uh, Lonzo. No, I really don't want to trade Lonzo. Just move Jalen Brunson. I guess I should have gotten Aminu instead. Or no, um, whoa, a backup small forward. Uh, I don't really want to trade Lonzo, but if I have to, I guess. I don't know what it would get us. We got three-star rating from Lonzo Ball. Um, Miritich fit really nicely off the bench, but I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I really don't want to trade Lonzo. So I guess Jalen Brunson will have to be the guy I traded or a trade. So, um... Mitchell Robinson, perfect. Get it. Mitchell Robinson. All right, so now for uh, backup power forward or do backup small forward, Lonzo. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. So we basically have a nine man rotation. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Uh, definitely a lot of moves that made this roster look, you know, really good. I don't know, man. I think it's been a different kind of video. I'm not used to being this aggressive on making so many dang moves, but it's looking pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like these kind of rebuilds or the realistic ones better. So, uh, I don't know. There is a, a there is a case for both. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people like a certain kind. Some people hate the other kind. It's obviously opinion opinionated. So, um, let me know what you guys think. But this is going to be the last season. So, let's throw untapped potential at everybody we can that doesn't have good potential. But for Robinson, let's get you up there. Get uh, Mr. Uh, Isaiah Stewart up there. And let's get uh, maybe one more potential to, I guess, uh, John Collins to make him an A, so not an A minus. And now we look at the roster, our sexy nine man rotation. D Lo, Clay Thompson, LeBron, Kuzma, John Collins, Keldon Johnson, Lonzo Mitch Robinson, Isaiah Stewart. That is destined for a very nice deep playoff run. So let's go ahead and simulate to the end of the season where we're going to make the playoffs and win a championship. Even at the age of 35 years old, maybe even 36 at this point, LeBron James still wins MVP. Uh, 27 points, 10 assists. Nice stuff there. Jamorant, or not Jamorant, uh, Jamorant, however you say it. Sorry, guys. Cole Anthony, Ricky Rubio. We got Giannis, one of the player, and, you know, most approved goes Clint Capella. Coach of the year goes to Mr. Brad Stevens. Damian Lillard on the All-NBA first team. All-NBA first team for LeBron as well. Um, do we have anybody else? Doesn't look like it. So... We are the second seed this time facing Utah. Once again, they beat us last year. We did force them to seven games. I don't expect them to beat us this time. So, you know, good stat line from everybody. Looking good. So, I really don't expect to lose in these playoffs. I really expect to win a championship in this video with LeBron and the supporting cast I have around him. I'd be shocked. We do uh, beat Utah in four games. So, nice clean sweep there. Pelicans beat my Blazers in six games when the Blazers were the third seed. The Pelicans were the sixth seed. So... Good stuff. You guys can all troll me in the comments now. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, uh, and are we going to beat New Orleans in four? We beat the New Orleans Pelicans as well. We're either going to face OKC or Houston. And uh, are we going to sweep the Rockets too? Because we've swept all of our opponents so far. We're up 1-0 on Los Angeles. Okay, they do win one game. We're up 2-1 on uh, Houston. I said Los Angeles earlier. 3-2. Can we please win at seven? Yes, we do. So facing the Milwaukee Bucks now, 42-40 and 40 Milwaukee Bucks. They were the sixth seed. I expect to win a championship here. 1-1, 2-1, 2-2 for us, 3-2 for them, 3-3. Oh my God, we just literally lost in seven games. That man. Anyways, guys, so close. Thank you guys for watching this Crash Bulls, and I'm saying peace.